I'm going to show you how to give advanced data analysis inside ChatGPT internet access. All right, I'm going to explain all that. But first, let me explain who I am and what we're doing here. My name is Jordan Wilson. I am the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like me and you make sense of what's going on in the world of AI. So let's make some sense of what's going on in this chat GPT. So real quick, this is formerly called code interpreter. It's now called advanced data analysis. So you do have to have the paid version of chat GPT plus, which is $20 a month. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to skip to the end because this does take two or three minutes to analyze. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, click this, and I'll explain what it is as we move along. So essentially, here's what I'm doing. I am using advanced data analysis to crunch data from my Beehive newsletter. So we send our everyday AI, it's a daily newsletter. We send it out via a platform called Beehive. So I exported all of this data and I'm asking ChatGPT in the advanced data analysis mode to essentially crunch the data. I'm telling it in the end to find me 10 of the most interesting insights from the data as it pertains to post performance. Okay. So it's going to take a minute, but let me explain kind of what we're doing and why. So one of the reasons why I don't use uh, advanced data analysis, I'm just going to call it ADA from now on, because that's a mouthful. One of the reasons I don't use ADA is because you can go through and have these great conversations with chat GPT inside of ADA, but then in the end, you're kind of stuck because chat GPT even when you use GPT-4, it has a knowledge cutoff of September, 2021. What that means is if you ask, um, you, you know, for strategies or, Hey, what can I do to improve these metrics? Or, you know, what are popular, you know, email newsletter providers, whatever chat GPT, um, inside ADA and elsewhere has a knowledge cutoff of September, 2021. So it's not very helpful, right? Uh, yeah, you can, it's uh, ADA is great at crunching numbers, right? So much, so much better uh, than the, the the default method within Chat GPT. But for most of my data analysis, personally, I just use Chat GPT with plugins, and then I give it access to a spreadsheet, and that's usually good good enough for me because I'm not doing super advanced analysis. However, in this case, there's a lot of data that we're crunching. So let's go. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's see if it's done. It's still working. So. Uh, but it's really getting at it. Wow, that's impressive. So let's kind of see what's going on here. So um, it's doing all this on its own, FYI. I didn't tell it to specifically do these things, but essentially it went in and it looked at the data set um, and it's starting to recommend, uh, or, or sorry, it's, it's starting to educate itself on what all this data is and what it means, right? So it's looking at the different rows. It's also doing, uh, it looks at, like it's doing some data cleaning because it says they're checking for missing values and it found missing values. And then it's uh, filling some of these things in even. Uh, so pretty good. So now it said it's proceeding to the next step, which is doing an exploratory data, uh, exploratory data analysis. So you'll see even before it got started, it gave us kind of the six steps of what it was doing with all of this data. So very insightful. So as we go in, it's starting to break down, you know, so it says all these different posts that were delivered, open rates, click rates, uh, unsubscribe, all these things. It's making charts, right? Like this is wild, right? So if you haven't used ADA, uh, it's, it's pretty impressive. One other thing to, to note, don't put any confidential or sensitive information up into ChatGPT. Like one thing I did not do as an example is I did not upload any email addresses in here because I don't want anyone's email addresses, um, you know, even giving it to uh, OpenAI. So none of like nothing that you upload becomes public. However, uh, OpenAI uses it to train its model. So always keep that in mind. So essentially all I'm doing is I'm uploading uh, different, uh, here's the emails we sent and here's, you know, different stats attached to those emails. So FYI, don't upload any sensitive, confidential, proprietary information into any large language models. All right, so here we go. So here we go. It's it's giving me top post by open rate, top post by click rate. It's analyzing. It's 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 it has some. Um, it's uh, it's it's making some assumptions on why certain things are performing better. So this is absolutely fantastic uh, information. So it's you know top post by open rate. It's breaking it down by day by click rate. Fantastic stuff. Let's see if it's done. All right, it's done. That was a lot, but we're not done. 
<laughs> All right. Because the whole point of this video is to say, okay, well, what do I do with this now? Because this, this data now, if, if, if I want to make improvements, I still have to do my own research and I can't give ADA access to the internet because it's a mode. It's not a plugin, right? But you can. All right, here's here's how. So uh, we normally don't talk about Chrome extensions a lot, but in this case, I'm going to. So what I'm going to do now is I have this Chrome extension already um, installed and enabled, but I didn't have it active. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh ChatGPT. So I have this installed. And now you'll see here at the bottom, all these uh, all these things that were in there that weren't in there before. And you'll see I have web access. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to explain this here as I run a prompt, because again, we like to do this live when we can. So you'll see at the bottom, it's it showed very quickly uh, like a search that was going on, right? So let me just tell you. So you have web access right here. It's toggled on. Here's uh, some of the different, uh, you can do a co-pilot search or a quick search. And then in the advanced settings, uh, you also have some options there. You can tell ChatGPT, oh, only go back in the past month. Um, you know, you can have it search Google, search Yahoo, search uh, Bing. Uh, so different things that you can do in there. So I'll tell you this. It's not the best, right? I've used uh, more than 20 different internet plugins uh, within the plugin modes to give ChatGPT access to the internet. So I've used 20 internet enabled uh, ChatGPT plugins. The Chrome extensions, at least for internet access, if I'm being honest, I mean, they're okay. They're not great. They're not reliable. You don't have a lot of flexibility. However, you do get to close that knowledge gap, which is great most times if it works correctly. So in this prompt, essentially what I said, I said, please find these recent, um, you know, I said, please find recent email newsletter growth strategies from 2023. I gave it access to two different articles to read. And then I said, apply, apply these findings to the data that I shared above. So you'll see here, and this is why, again, I don't always like it. So sometimes if you give it a uh, access to a link, it will query the internet and look uh, for that. So you can't give uh, these exact links, but a lot of, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, so even in my testing of this, it works sometimes. Um, but I do see that um, ChatGPT did access the internet and I'm hovering over it and I see that it went to, um, it went to, uh, a beehive article. So it's because it didn't query what I wanted it to, it still went out and found, uh, some relevant information. So this is great right here. So it is applying, it, it is essentially taking all of the best practices from this very long blog post on beehives. A blog. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and show you. So uh, it essentially crunched down this long blog post, right? Um, and it applied it to the data that I shared above. So again, fantastic. It's saying, you know, focus on your open rate strategies and applying my data, right? It said Monday, Mondays and Wednesdays from the observed data. So I could do this all day, but we call this AI in five. This is a longer one. Uh, so it's an AI in nine. I hope this was helpful. If so, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and hey, now you know how to give uh, you know ADA access to the internet, which is fantastic. But go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for the free daily newsletter. Also, subscribe to this channel. Thanks. And we'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.